Hey, it's Chad. I'm going to make a simple button using Photoshop CS3. And when I start out, I like to make sure I have the size and color, background color, all picked out what it's going to say. So, with that said, I'm going to start with a new one. Um, and it's going to be 200 by 60 will be the size of the... Um, project that I'm going to use. My button will be a little bit smaller than that. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that. And um, my button's going to be a rectangle with rounded corners. And I want it to be red. So I'm going to start out, um, change the color to red. And I'll make the size. It's not going to be perfect in there because right away I'm going to go ahead and select it with a, uh, you can hit um, Control T to transform or go up to edit free transform and then I go up here and if you don't know this you can right click on here and switch it to percent pixels how you want to change it <coughs> um, I go on pixels because it's easiest for me and I set the width a little smaller than the 200, so I'll do 198. And a little bit smaller than the 60, 58. And then make sure it's in the center, 30 and 100. Hit enter, and that'll put it right in the center there. And then I'm going to create another one. And this color is going to be white. Oops. So I'll create it and hit control T for transform tool make it um, a little bit smaller again I want the red border around the button to be two pixels so I have to make it four smaller than the original one so that would be 194 and the same thing with the height so that would be 54 and then put it in the center again, which uh, is 30 actually, and 100. Hit enter and change the color to white. And now comes the cool part. You add a mask, a layer mask to that white one. And what that'll let you do is you can take the um, gradient tool and anything that's white is going to be uh, non-transparent everything that's black will be transparent so make a straight line going down if you hold in shift it'll lock it in at 45 degree angles so I go straight down almost the full length and there you got that gradient going down of how transparent that white layer is and then change the opacity down to about I don't know 60 percent or something that usually looks pretty good and now you can see we've kinda got a button here with a border you can just go ahead and add some words. So I'll just type something simple in that says push. And you can't see that because it was down a couple layers. So I'll move it up. Um, I want to change the text <coughs> to white. And I also want to center it. So with the layer selected, just hit Control T again and go up here and put it at 30 and 100 and hit enter and there you go it's right in the middle now if I were to publish this it looks like a pretty nice button so there you have it thanks for listening